What up, peoples? This is the Al York Sports Shows, Behind the Scene. And guess who the fuck I found, man? The MMA, UFC, Justin Yu, a.k.a. The Specialist. And he's going to tell y'all why that he's the man for me to bring on the show to hold down this, this part of the sports aspect that we ain't giving y'all. And now we're going to give it to y'all. So, Justin, you introduce yourself to them and let them know what it is, man. How y'all doing? My name is Justin Yu, the MMA specialist. Yes, sir. I've been following MMA since I was a kid, since UFC 1. When you say kid, what, 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 tell them what age. They, they want to know everything. Yeah, they want to know everything, man. The I'm raw truth. Like That's how we do it. 14, 15 years old. <coughs> Don't let the look fool you. I'm, yeah, 30, you look mad, I'm 36. Yeah. You look so mad go young, back man. Two, that's two decades. We go back two decades. I've been watching this since UFC 1. You know, the pay-per-views. I was getting the pay-per-views, begging my parents, like, yo, I want to watch this. This looks like the new new stuff. And this when you was 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. is when MMA was first coming up. They are having a hard time getting these into the venues. They were getting right. kicked out of venues. UFC was getting kicked out of venues the day of the fights. Right, so they right. pulled it together. They had their fights. So I know all the the, the old name fighters. Yeah, give us some Dan, names. Dan Severn. Give us some names. Hoist Gracie. Wow. Ken Shamrock. Uh, these are champions. Yeah, these are champions, man. Yeah. Uh, who 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 else, man? <laughs> so many, <laughs> so many old school fighters. Man. All right, all right. Listen, so, let's, let's explain to them. I know you. Yeah. I know what you bring to the table, but I want them to know, and this is why. I, we doing this interview with you today because I want them to know what's coming on the Al York Sports Show that's going to change the game a little bit because we already got the baseball, the football, the yeah. basketball, even kind of boxing on smash. Right. Me, right. Noah, uh, Will the Money Line guy, right. you know what I mean? And then we got a couple more analysts, like we got Tony Brown, we got a couple other cats. But now what I'm telling you is, why you? Like, why you? Explain to them why you. Well, there's a lot of ways to look at it. You know, with fights, a lot of people use statistics. Right. But when it comes down to a fight, anything can happen, man. You got to look at other variables, other details. I like that. You know, I like looking at, I like watching the weigh-ins from start to finish. See, that's what I'm going to tell you. you tell know? them why popcorn pop. You're telling them right now. Yeah. You like watching the weigh-ins. Get, get, watching the weigh-ins. You got to find every edge you can in the fight game. You right. know, little details. How was the weight cut for the guys? How they look at the weigh-ins, the stare downs, <coughs> any intimidation going on. Body language. Body language. Okay. Exactly, exactly. The little things. Statistics are statistics. They come on paper. Yeah. But you seen how fights go down, man. Though I seen you go on multiple parlay cards, missed by one fight, and it'd be like a plus three hundred. Yeah, yeah. So that's when I started realizing, yeah. you know what? My man knows his shit. Yeah. Because you know, I could do a bunch of parlay calls and probably go three and three. I right. see you regularly go five and one, four and one, et cetera. And I even seen you win parlays on top of, and your straight bets is money usually. Yeah, you right, gave me right, Jimmy right, Walker, right. Jimmy Walker. Since Johnny since? Walker. You gave me Johnny Walker. I cashed out on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that was love. We were drinking that J Johnny yes, Walker after the fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't drinking. You were oh, drinking. Was you were drinking. drinking. I wasn't drinking. Yeah, blue but, uh, label. Don't forget, blue label, not black label. Okay, okay. Red label, blue label. Blue label, Johnny Walker. I got you, <laughs> brother. Okay, so another thing is, um, there's a fight this week, uh, and like them. There's give a, him a lean. A, give him a lean. So that we just had a big card in Vegas. You know, John Jones. You know, he did what he had to do. Tyron Woodley lost his belt. You know, I mean, not surprising. It's a young man's sport. There's a hungry lion coming up after him. So now we got like a little, like little tune-up fights. Now we got. You know, some, some lower, lower, lower type, lower caliber yeah, fights. Lower caliber. But you know what? These fighters are hungry. they fighting for that title shot, that opportunity. These are the up-and-comers. Right. A couple veterans. But give us this Saturday's fight. Who is it? Lewis and De La The Santos, main event. Right? The main event. Derek the Beast. Lewis. Oh, the Beast Lewis. Knockout artist. Okay. You know, and one, he, he's the underdog, right? Oh, big underdog. What's yeah, the yeah. price on that? Plus 175. So what's the uh, the, the champion got what? Or the, uh, the favorite got what? What is it? Dos, uh, Junior Dos Santos is minus 200. Oh, it went down to 200? 200, minus 200. I seen 250 like, I think yesterday or this morning. Right. As of now, minus 200. So they betting the beast now. They betting the beast. He okay. got that one hit, one punch power, man. Okay. Explaining them who you like and why. 
Okay, so my lean is <coughs> Junior Dos Santos, former heavyweight champion. You know, his record speaks for itself. Right. 20 and 5, fought the who's who of the heavyweight division. Just coming off of a good win. Derek Lewis, dude, Derek Lewis coming off of a loss. Right. You know. But you, but the beast, if a beast loses, don't you think the beast is going to come back the second fight? Or you just don't see it against De Los Santos? I just see it as a as kind of a lopsided fight, man. Dos Santos' is skill level. Yeah, but tell him why. Department. Tell him why. What is it that De Los Santos got that, that Lewis don't got? Cardio, number one cardio. That's good. This is Cardio is big. Uh, Last longer. Last longer. Uh, he's got... He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Derek Lewis, I don't even know if he's done any jiu-jitsu. <laughs> right, right, you right. Know? His ground game but you is don't get. I'm, I'm going to say this old saying that my man told me. There's some dude named Psycho said they ain't name him Psycho because he baked cookies. So, <laughs> so they ain't right, named right. Lewis the Beast, Beast because he baking cookies. Right, right, right. So what, where the Beast came from? The Beast came from him knocking guys out with just one punch. He was losing. On some Dante Wilder shit? Yeah, he was losing okay. one of his most recent fights. Alexander Volkov getting beat the whole fight. I thought they should have stopped that fight maybe in the, the second round. Okay. He, 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 he fell over, gassed, and I thought the ref was going to stop it, but they let him continue. Right. And the end of the last round, the end of the, uh, I believe it was a, a, a fight that went five rounds, end of the fifth round, clocked him with the overhand right, and it was a wrap. I mean, oh, the dude, man. Black Beast, took his pants off in the middle of the ring, and Joe Rogan asked him, like, why'd you take your pants off? And he said his balls was hot. Like, you know, oh, you gotta wow. you gotta love a guy that jokes around yo, yo. after a dog fight like that. Motherfucking you know? beast. Animal <laughs> cooking eating motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, okay, so we got that aspect. So you're leaning on De Los Santos. Skill wise, Dos Santos, but you know, mm. as a fan favorite, I think the beast, he's a fan favorite because of the way he fights. And that's why they betting the beast. The moving yeah, the money's yeah, moving on yeah, the beast. For sure. So if you're a high roller. De Los Santos minus 200, you basically tell somebody put two grand to win a grand? Yeah, for sure. And if you're a low guy, maybe like 200 to win 100. Yeah. yeah. And you like the side real strong. Real strong. Real strong. Uh, you heard it for Justin you. Now we're going to jump into the NBA. Now, this guy knows a lot about a lot of sports, but his strengths is the UFC and MMA. Just like me, my strength says, you know, basketball, football, baseball, and not That's what right. he does. That's why we bringing him on the show. Cause now we got masters on every field and on every category. On, on, on you no, know well, let me just stop. Anyway, so let's go back to the NBA, man. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna continue to kill LeBron James. I've been killing them. They know for like three, four weeks. They're like, I got dudes hitting me up. Ah, why you don't leave him alone? He's one of the greatest players. Yesterday, I seen a sad scenario, <laughs> man. He passes the goat. Michael Jordan on all-time points. Right. And I must have heard the sorriest ovation in yeah. my life, dog. And this isn't the first time. He's passed Jordan. This is the third time he's passed him. No, no. Statistically. No, but the other yeah. times, they gave him an ovation. Right. right. That you said Cleveland or something, right? Yeah, the first time yeah, he passed, passed Jordan, him. it was uh, Eastern Conference Finals. Okay. Spring of 2017. Okay, okay. So what I'm saying is... Yeah. This is why I told people that L.A. is not filling them. And I hope now they understand because when Kobe passed Michael Jordan, y'all can YouTube it, it was at Minnesota. Kobe passed uh, Michael Jordan in all-time points. Right. The, yo, time stopped. Literally stopped. <laughs> yeah. The coaches was hugging him. Right, right, Both right. coaches, yeah. all the players on both teams, they even gave him the basketball. right. My man, what I seen yesterday with LeBron, I seen like four dudes yeah. give him love. And the last one was JaVale McGill. Uh, McGee was the only one that really hugged him, hugged him. Yeah. And everything else was like, fuck that dude, B. Yeah, it's you know sad. what I mean? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's problems in L.A. It's in disarray. Now I'm going to get to my next question real fast. What's happening with that organization, man? Explain it to them. Man, you know what I think? I, you view. know what I think it is? Is... Everybody, everybody's putting everything on LeBron's shoulders. They think he's the savior coming into the Lakers to bring him back to the championship days or at least get him into the playoffs. <coughs> I mean, it's your first year, and LeBron's been in the playoffs, what, every year that he's been on the team? No, not every year. Uh, he actually well, missed almost. one. Almost. Okay, with okay, Silas, one. With poor yeah. Silas, but then he, he, man, he had a nice yeah. little run there. He had a nice so little run there. Everyone's just putting all the pressure on LeBron, and then when the season's not going the way they want it to, 
they need a scapegoat. And who else are they going to blame? They got to blame LeBron. Right, right, right. So you, well, can't, well, you can't put them up high after passing, passing oh, Jordan, man. you know? They're looking know. at wins. They're looking at the wins, man. I know, I know. But my, my point of view is, and like I'm going to say, man, he, he's just not a great leader, man. I mean, he probably was a great leader maybe some of the years. Yeah. You know, like Mike was the leader. Yeah. Even though he had Scotty, yeah. Scotty knew that Mike was the leader. LeBron's not a great leader, and that whole chemistry is shot in L.A. Right, because right. if you looked at yesterday's game, Ray Jar Rondo with like two and a half minutes in the game. Yeah. Well, you know where the bench is at? And then you got regular regular pedestrians? Yeah. He was on the side of the pedestrians. Oh, and wow. nobody called him. LeBron didn't call him. Uh, Luke Walton didn't call him. Yeah. And I, I know he knows he's out of there. But you don't do that. Somebody's supposed to say, yo, Ray Jar, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Still part of the team. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. yo, when I tell you he literally was behind the pedestrians, I don't think I ever seen this in my life. Kind of where Floyd be sitting at. Yeah. You know how Floyd be right next to the bench? Yes. It'd be yes. like a few people then Floyd? Yeah. That's kind of where he was. And that's a no-no. And then you seen Palenka and Magic. With the stupidest faces I ever seen in the stands like this when it was two minutes left and they down like 105 90. Man. I think LeBron missed the layup or some shit. And yo, that that organization is so much disarray. That's why I got the Pittsburgh disarray, shit on. Man. Because Pittsburgh is also going to disarray. But we're not gonna get into Pittsburgh because we ain't got enough time. Right. But this right. is why I want this because these are two organizations, great organizations, great. Yeah. That are going through disarray with all star players. Yeah. And all pro players. You dig what I'm saying? So we gotta cut it short. We're running out of time. Justin Yu, aka the specialist, specialist. will be joining the Al York Sports Show this Sunday from about 11, 11 30 Pacific, 2, 2 30 Eastern. Make sure you guys tune in, man. It's going to be a great show. Make sure y'all tune in. We're going to give y'all nothing but the raw truth. And last but not least, Justin, you also custom these hats, shirts, everything. Anything you want on the market, just go to alyoursports.com. Um, hit us up or make your orders. You can hit me direct. We'll get it out to you in a couple of days, correct? Yeah. And whatever you want, man. So make sure you check us. Justin, you welcome on board. You were sick Appreciate last week. You. I told him last week you were sick. But we ain't being sick this week, right? No, no. There ain't no reason to get sick, right? <laughs> Make sure you ain't drinking. Make sure you ain't eating no old food. We want you on you, the baby. show. We'll be back. Thank you, guys. I love y'all. The Al York Sports Thanks. Show. Let's get it. Thank you.